Ever since I did a review about the laser picker, I received numerous questions. Does it work on metal? What about aluminum cores? Can it cut through silicon materials? Can it engrave on acrylic? Coconut? I don't know why you would engrave on coconut, but the answers to all these questions are negative. Sorry, due to the less efficient laser power that's on the laser picker, there are lots of materials they cannot work with. So when Hyper Laser reached out to me to see if I'm interested in their latest laser engraver unit, which they claim that they can literally engrave anything you want, including stones and metals, I said, why not give it a try? So first things first, the unit I'm getting to say is the prototype. As it's still in its early version, the engineers are still working on it day and night to perfectly, so there are lots of features I'm unable to test, but as they told me that all those will be ready on a fish unit when they're shipping out. The Hyper Laser has just started its crowdfunding on Kickstarter. You can learn more about that by clicking the link in the description. Without further ado, Let's get started. So my first impression of the Hyper Laser is this thing is heavier than the laser picker, but in a good way, because sometimes weight means quality. The Hyper Laser is three times more powerful than the laser picker. It does feature a more powerful laser sensor though. On the front, there's a laser emission port and a quarter inch thread to let you connect to the tripod. On one side, there's a power connection and a micro USB port. The back is the ventilation outlet, and that's all. Not sure if you like it, I can dig it. It looks elegant and minimalistic. The aluminum alloy outshell feels premium, not like some cheap plastic thing. Another accessory that I really like is the tripod. It's really well made. If you have used the tripod from the laser picker, then you will know how good this one is. Don't get me wrong, I love laser picker as well. It's just some parts that they made are not that great. Now back to the Hyper Laser tripod. It's made of aluminum alloy. It's heavy and durable, and from my short time experience using it, it's rock sturdy. And most of the time, you don't even need to adjust the height when you engrave. Speaking of engraving, let's get to it. Connect to power source, open Hyperlaser app, here's the interface. Tap photos or camera to choose the picture you want to print, adjust different parameters and choose the size of the area you want to engrave. It has up to 140 mm square size. That's surprising as the laser picker only has 100 millimeters. And then choose different materials. You can use the default power and speed, or you can customize it if you want. And finally, click print. You're ready to go. But let's stop here. As I said before, the Hyper Laser is in its early version. The app is still on the developing. It's not available yet. What I showed you is the demo of the official version that will be like in the future. To be honest, I'm excited to see the official version since it looks so clean and intuitive. But until then, in order to get it working now, you have to use a third-party app called GCode2GRBL. What a name! Tap Bluetooth icon to connect to the device. Once connected, click GRBL control. Tap Send File on the bottom to get a preview area. You can adjust the engraving target accordingly to find the best position. After that, click the file you want to print. Go back to the GRBL control and tap send file again to print. It sounds a little bit tricky, but you really don't have to worry about that much as you're not going to use it anyway when you get the Hyper Laser as the official app will be ready then. But as I know, some geeks are prefer to use this type of third-party app as some of the features are open source and they can optimize a lot of things. As this is a powerful laser engraver, I didn't even try this normal stuff that I would likely get great results like leathers, coasters, and filter materials. Instead, I tested some hard stuff, literally hard stuff. So the first I tried is the wood, and here's the result. Just check out the details, it's clear and sharp, and not only that, if you look closer, it literally covered a few millimeters down, which gives this kind of bad relief effect. It also has an excellent performance on lighter colored plywood, which is normally very challenging for these kinds of consumer laser engravers. And then, it's the floor tile, not bad, a knife, awesome results, a glass, it's a bit tricky as the transparent surface reflects the beam's energy. So you have to use a marker paint to paint black. After engraving, just wipe out the paint. It looks okay, just like a watermark. 
I know what you're thinking. Can I print a big picture on a cup? That's what we are going to talk about, my friend. And that's probably one of the most important reasons I recommend this laser engraver. It has an access record, the fourth axis. It's an automatic rolling tool that's specifically made for cylindrical engraving. Just connect it to the hyperlaser via USB cable, connect the power source, adjust the position and the distance. To get the best results, the distance is about 10 centimeters, and print. And that's it. What you need to do is just sit there, drink a cup of coffee, and wait till the amazing fourth axis finishes the rest of the job. Now, check out the results. I was totally blown away by that. The details, the clarity is just amazing. Everybody wants it. As I have really limited time with this unit, Hyperlaser brought a bunch of other bottles which they engraved before. They all look really good. And finally, my conclusion. To be honest, I'm really impressed by this little laser engraver. It's powerful. It's the most powerful consumer laser engraver I've ever tested so far. With 5000 milliwatt laser power, it can basically engrave on any surface you want. It's even able to cut through an acrylic plate without much effort at one time. You have to know this material is just impossible for this bird laser engravers. It's fast. Sometimes I want to shoot a slight shot when it's engraving, but by the time I prepare everything, it's already finished the job. And most importantly, is it's so much convenient to use. When you engrave vertically, you don't even need the tripod. And when you need a tripod, the well-made tripod always does a good job. And I have to mention again is the fourth axis accessory, since I really like it. Like before, if I want to engrave on something cylindrical, it's just impossible. But with this tool, it becomes so easy. It's rolling by itself. What you need to do is just relax. The last thing is its safety. It has magnetic shields. And to my surprise, it has this kind of auto detection feature. When someone accidentally approaches to the hyperlaser, it will shut down automatically. And that's a good protective measure for those families with keys. I really want to demo this feature, but as I've said before, it's an early version and that feature is still under developing and not available yet. But good to know that it has such a good feature, right? During my one day with it, I literally didn't find any obvious downside of it. If you have to name one, then maybe the price is a little bit higher than some of the portable laser engravers I know. But hey, this is a powerful laser engraver with lots of fun. You get what you pay for, right? So to conclude, if you are into these kinds of gadgets and you do need one to create something that's special and meaningful, or you want to use it as a decent gift to someone, definitely go and get it. Link in the description. It's a piece of art and it's going to exceed your needs. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave your comment below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click right here to subscribe. I'm Sammy. See you next time.